You did know that the Advanced Custom Fields plugin now has a color picker option, but it's quite cool in how it operates because maybe when you are looking at your single post template, you want to color particular headings or the background of a page or whatever you're doing on that particular post a certain color. And maybe it needs to stick to brand colors or you want to have the option of what you're going to pick. You can now do that inside of ACF. Let me show you. I am using the advanced custom fields plugin installed and activated. What I'm going to show you, you can do on a normal post product or a custom post type as well. We're going to go into field groups. I'm going to click add new. I'm going to call it colors. I'm going to go to my first field and I'm going to scroll down until I get to color picker. Now I'm going to show you three examples of this using the same field technically because the way it presents is very different. I'm going to call this one color one. I'm not very imaginative. You can set a default value. I'm not overly bothered by that. I mean, you can do. You may decide that everything by default is a black color, maybe. So even if you don't pick something, it will do it for you. You can enable transparency as well. But the reason I don't always go for that is because then you are now using an RGBA string, which might complicate it with some people because they don't always think like that. Hex code's a bit more easier. You just got to make sure you put like an FA or an AAAD afterwards to sort out the transparency. But the important bit is when we come over here to the presentation, when I click that, you have the option for show custom palette, show color wheel. Now for the first one, I'm going to leave just the color wheel, not the custom palette. Then I'm going to duplicate this field and we'll leave it as color two very nicely. It's renamed it for us. We'll go to presentation and this time I will do show custom palette and show color wheel. I've got an added in three color hex code. So hashtag with your hex code, comma, and then add as many as you want. But remember, I am still showing the color wheel as well. And then I'm going to duplicate that and we'll have a color free. And if I go to presentation, this time I will not show the color wheel. OK, so the first one is just the color wheel. The second one is the palette, the custom palette and the color wheel. And the third one is just the custom palette. I prefer option number three. And I'm now going to show you what would the user or person who's doing the post see. Oh, yeah, don't forget at the bottom, make sure your post type is equal to whatever post type you're doing. I'm going to go into one of my example posts and you'll now see at the bottom those custom fields. We've got color one, color two, color three. If I click that one, can you now see we get the palette? Because that's all I enabled for that one. And I can pick, you know, whatever color I want, or you could type it in. And that's now done. And remember, this is a custom field. So when you are building out your single post template, when you go to the color tab, and I'll show you that as well, you could then pull through that color. Let's now go to color number two. And you might think you're only seeing the gray, but if you pick any one of your custom colors, they're the three colors I selected, you will get back the rainbow. So you can add in your hex code or pick one. But what this is good is that it means now I can control the colors you pick. The only problem I find is that if you also have the palette like this, someone might pick a color and they might go, oh, I want to go for a different shade or, you know, something. And if you're sticking to particular branding, that completely breaks that up. Do you get what I mean? Let me just put it at that color for now. Or we go to color free. And this is my favorite. The fact that I can go and now pick something so I can pick that. Now, you do still have the option to add in a hex code and pull through what you want. But I think there's a higher chance, though, that if you just give them the palette like that, they'll know what to pick. So I'm just going to go for that red color again. So the color picker, I think, is pretty intuitive. But my preferred option is color number three, especially if you want to stick to particular branding. And just to show you how to use it inside of Elementor, if I go to my single post template, I've got my very basic boring title over there. I'm going to click my title. I'm going to go to my style tab and I'm going to go to where I've got my color. I'm going to click that and I'm going to click dynamic tag. Remember, you could do this on background, container, background, shadows. There's so many, anywhere where you can use a color, you could pull it back from your post. Imagine doing this on a loop grid, for instance. So maybe you've got text, but you want to have different contrasting colors coming through. So you get to have lots of variety without you having to create lots of different templates for your loop grid. Anyway, we're going to click dynamic tag. I'm going to go to ACF color picker field. I hope you can see that on screen. OK, and then I'm going to click the spanner or the wrench. And for my key, I'm going to pick color number three. And that will change to the red color, which is what I had for color three. 
If I went and picked color two, it should change to the orange color. Pretty neat, right? But like I said, I wouldn't want to show the color wheel. It's entirely up to you if you want to give them flexibility and freedom. I would want to control it a little bit more on what they can pick. I hope that helps you out with some custom styling. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll keep seeing you. Take care. Bye.